So one kind of story that keeps popping up almost every single day, even though Donald Trump is trying to hide them, are stories related to his financial difficulties, how he is hundreds of millions of dollars in debt and his hotels, his golf courses, his office spaces, his condos, they're all failing. And it's gotten so bad that he's been reduced to begging the Republican Party to pay a major portion of his own personal legal bills. Donald Trump can't pay his own legal bills. The Republican Party has to do it for him. Check this reporting out. It says, The Washington Post reports that the RNC is paying some personal legal bills for former President Donald Trump spending party funds to pay a lawyer representing Trump in investigations into his financial practices in New York. Specifically, the RNC made payments totaling more than $120,000 just last month to the law firm of Ronald Fischetti, who Trump hired in April. In a statement given to the Post, the RNC defended its decision. It says, quote, as leader of our party, defending President Trump and his record of achievement is critical to the GOP. It is entirely appropriate for the RNC to continue assisting and fighting back against the Democrats' never-ending witch hunt and attacks on him. And let's be clear, this is a political party paying the personal bills of Donald Trump, of a man that holds no formal role in the Republican Party. He's not the leader of the party in the you know party apparatus. He's not president anymore. He doesn't hold a seat at the state or local or national level. He is literally just some guy now, and they are spending party money on his personal bills. And again, I, I got to underline that. This is not them spending money on legal issues related to Trump's work as president when he was president. President. Remember, these lawsuits relate to Trump and his taxes. We covered some of this just yesterday. It actually has nothing to do really with his time as a politician. It's really about Donald Trump, the businessman, independent of any political affiliation. And so this shows not only that this is entirely inappropriate, but that Donald Trump is financially destitute. And it is also connected to a story I covered just a couple weeks ago. Remember where the Donald Trump threatened the Republican Party. He threatened to leave the Republican Party and take his base and start a new party because he felt the party betrayed him and they don't deserve his loyalty. And the Republican Party rightfully freaked out because they know that if Donald Trump left, he would destroy them. And what they did in response was threaten him back. And they did it in two ways. One way was that they were going to refuse to pay Donald Trump for access to his membership list and his donor list and his email list, which they were paying Trump quite a bit of money each and every year to have access to, which was helping Trump do his own personal fundraising. But two, they were going to stop paying his legal bills. And Donald Trump backed down. That shows that Donald Trump is weak and he's scared and he's broke. A lot of people will read the headline of this story and think it's yet another example of Donald Trump controlling the Republican Party, of the Republicans being utterly pathetic in the face of Donald Trump. And and that's true to some degree, but you also have to consider that this is also a story about Donald Trump's weakness. Donald Trump is so weak that even this supposed billionaire can't take care of his own financial independence, and so he's utterly dependent on his political party to pay for his bills. And so this is Donald Trump admitting that he's never going to have the intestinal fortitude to leave the Republican Party because he he knows he won't succeed and he knows he can't survive financially without them. So everyone looks bad here. The Republicans look bad for spending party money on a person's individual bills. And Donald Trump looks awful because this supposed billionaire is so broke, he can't even pay for his own personal lawyers. Once again, Trump and the Republican Party driving each other into the mud. It's pretty delicious.